If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. All right, Jim Jones calls out WAC 100. He said that he's tearing down the black community and we do not need this in hip hop. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, check out new album reviews in the album review playlist. Let's check this out. It's audio, y'all. I've been doing this for 20 years and I make a lot of money. Fuck head ass old nigga, man. I'm tired of all this shit. But we ain't get on here to talk about that. I got on here to talk about something positive. Keep the, yeah, 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 stay yeah, the yeah. course. You heard? I want everybody to stay the course. Don't get tricked out of here by this bullshit bloggers and everybody trying to get a dollar by eating dick of my life. You heard? I stand tall for everything I, I believe in and I always have, no matter what. And I bumped into the best of them. You heard? I've been around this whole world. Fuck the country, nigga. Rocking my same colors. Can't nobody tell me anything, nigga. You know how we move in New York City, nigga. I put a whole coast on. I let a whole coast eat. I put the shit in the sky, nigga. The same way Snoop put the shit in the sky, I put the shit in the sky, nigga. Nobody know none of them other niggas, you heard? They know who Capo was, though, because I put the shit in the sky, nigga. And I held my hand up high, nigga. Fuck wrong with all these niggas. I'm going to get back to watching my movies and living good, man. That's all I got to say, bro. I don't go go back. Yeah, no, you ain't got to say the movie. You ain't got to say Hey, yo, I ain't going. Love, bro. Bro, a, a special service announcement eat a dick to all rap <laughs> period hey yo try it man that nigga i'm trying to get him in the room he don't hey, yo, it it, you know room, what bro. you know what bro and ain't we ain't got no rap no more that's all i wanted you to do this is me let me be honest bro i don't be playing it. hold on hold on quick quick because they're gonna hang in the big room look i'm gonna be honest we don't do this shit right here uh bro like, come on, man. You can see the three niggas. The niggas don't do that. That was the definition of a nigga tucking his tail. Ain't no, what up? Like, like, the up reason though. why I so have to do this. That nigga just showed this. Hey, yo, let me, be, let, me, let me finish speaking. This nigga is speaking like a blogger. He's bringing up cases that he has no knowledge about. He's nigga, the poet. Trav, Trav, you, Trav, Trav, you making a good clips. point. He's not bringing up cases. He's trying to bring down powerful black men that are in position to yeah. help other powerful hey, yo, black men. Hey, That's yo, all bro. I've been out here doing this whole time is helping our black community, no matter how people look at it. I do music. I put as many people on as possible. I got fitness. I put as many people trainers on as possible. I got cockle corn. I've been everything I do is not for me. It's for the people. I'm a people's person that people don't see. You heard, you don't hear me getting in the old narratives that I used to be on when I was younger. I'm way smarter than that, than that nowadays. So for me to get on here and feed into some bullshit, I feel like I'm going 10 steps backwards. And that's not why I got on this platform. Nor did I get on this platform with anybody that associates themselves with anybody that's a fucking rat. Period. You did, but the, the business that I do is for the people. And to see my people actually pay attention or give this shit any type any type of leeway when it comes to tearing another black man down under false narratives and people spreading propaganda that's how we in the situation we in right now because the slavery don't stop these niggas are still field niggas and house niggas and shit like that it don't stop when you ready to take your own your own people down come on man what are we talking about we ain't talking yeah, about nothing positive thing yet thing we ain't talking about all right, let me pause it for a second before I go to the last minute of this um this conversation with Jim Jones. He was on with that damn stupid shit. Um, damn, 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 damn. Not TikTok. Clubhouse, my bad. <laughs> yeah, so Jim Jones came out and said that WAC 100 is looking for attention. And he's speaking on cases he has no, no knowledge about. And he's trying to tear down the black community, black um positive powerful men who are making a change and making a a, a national impact not just in their community but just nationwide and my thing is this whack 100 i feel like he's cloud chasing he's worried about the wrong things at the wrong time he's not even looking for nothing positive regardless he's from power room now that shit don't mean nothing what's up with the the people that you grew up with what's up with their children helping them out you know why are you worried about what's going on with everybody? 
He already disrespected Tupac. He disrespected Nipsey Hussle. He got knocked out by Nipsey Hussle, former bodyguard. He disrespected um, so many people. The list goes on and on and on. It's like the Energizer battery. So it's just like, what else are you going to do? Now you bring on Rainbow Bright, Light Bright, Snitch Nine, interviewed him for like, what, two hours with academics? Now you feel like he has some type of past. You make death threats at 21 Savage. You got at Meek Mill. Now you're getting at Jim Jones. So it's like, who's next? I mean, a lot of people probably looking like, man, when is this fool going to get knocked out? It's time for this fool to get knocked out, whatever. To me, I don't even think it's more about him getting knocked out because that's irrelevant. He already got knocked out by Nipsey Hussle's bodyguard. My thing is, I feel like, what is he trying to prove? Is he trying to expose people just in general? He wants to be some type of hip hop detective or he just looking for attention so people can follow him on Instagram, social media. He can get his followers um, up. He can get more views. He can make some money. I mean, it is what it is, what he's trying to do. It's irrelevant to me because it doesn't help the black community. Right now, we need to be trying to cultivate these black children so they can be doctors, scientists educators, you know, anything they can do, career building, entrepreneurs, we need we need them in as city council men, city council women, senators, governors, politicians, anything that's going to actually help with this country abroad, we need to worry about the children, we need to be having programs so when these black men coming home from jail, they can be rehabilitated, we need Healing therapy, that's way more important than just, oh, it's Jim Jones a snitch. Me, me, I'm going to put hands on you. Nipsey Hussle a buster. Like all this stuff he keeps saying over and over and over, he's just worried about the wrong things. To me, it's not, it's not beneficial. It's not doing nothing to nobody. Yes, it's making people laugh from the outside, but at the end of the day, it's destroying the black community. And I actually agree with Jim Jones. So I want to hear from the community. What do you think? Do you agree with Jim Jones saying that WAC 100 is destroying the black community? Or do you feel that WAC 100 is uplifting the black community? Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Screen Apps. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.